Hey guys, welcome back. Today's lesson will focus and emphasize upon the quality of awareness, the innate quality of awareness, which I call formlessness. Now this one is, again, it may seem like it's very much like the emptiness and the spaciousness, and in a way it is, but this one is especially subtle. This one is especially, shall I say, profound when you get it, when you understand this way of seeing it, and it can get rid of the seeking that you may have for the path of self-realization. It may simply loosen up your seeking tension and allow you to very effortlessly notice that it's always already the case. So try to follow me to the best of your ability. Awareness is formless. That means that it does not have a form of its own. That means that it's not any particular feeling. So many of us are searching for a feeling, which is great. In the empowerment teaching, we learn all about how to master our feeling state so that the universe can respond to our vibrational attitude in a particular powerful way so that we can start to see reflections of who we truly are made manifest. And this is gorgeous. And this is why we are here. This is why we're here. We're here to play consciously. However, for the purpose of realizing the changelessness and the truth of awareness, the priority lies upon realizing in this lesson, the formlessness of awareness itself. And therefore to re relax the seeking or the neediness to feel a certain way. We can't really freely choose how we wish to feel at any given moment. If we're very biased and contracted about certain feelings and rejecting them and trying to attain other feelings, it's, all well and good to have desires for certain feelings. This is completely natural. And like, I'm, like I said, in the empowerment teaching, this is all about this and it's beautiful. But what is very important is that we also realize that it's not, it should not come from a space of need. If it comes from a space of, I need to feel a certain way, I need to look a certain way, awareness or self-realization or self-empowerment needs to look and feel a certain way. And we start searching for a state of being to then say, oh, wait a second, who I truly am, what I truly am, the full extent of what I am, is encapsulated by this feeling, is contained in this state of being, is defined by this particular thought or way of seeing or way of being. So to reach a really ultimate state of awareness of I, I freedom, of I, I emptiness, spaciousness, formlessness, unaffectedness, timelessness, it's very, very helpful to take those two to five seconds of complete mental clarity and spaciousness like you can do right now and recognize as always that awareness is always already the case. I'm not even saying here right now because that makes it sound like it's a particular feeling right here that you can pinpoint and identify. It's not anything you see, it's already the case. It's already the truth of existence. Awareness is always already the case precisely because it does not have a form of its own. If awareness has a, had a form of its own, it would come and go and come and go, and it would be utterly unable to perceive the comings and the goings of appearances. So by the very nature that you can perceive the coming and the going of an appearance of a feeling of a thought of a state of being, implies that the awareness that you are is more subtle, more profound, more ultimate, more free than the feeling, than the appearance, than the state of being, than the experience. You start to realize that awareness is always already here precisely because it's absolutely formless. That which is absolutely formless can be the true container for all other experiences that do have a form of their own. But awareness does not and will never have a form of its own. If it would, it would simply be in a state of identification with what it perceives or say, I am this. It would start to generate the feeling of, oh, I am this. I am this body. I am this mind. I am this personality. I am this feeling. I am this misery. I am this happiness. I am this. I am that. I am my circumstances, etc. So then awareness can get identified with a particular form, with a particular pinpointed focus of consciousness a particular perception or appearance, but it will only be an identification. Still, it will not be true. Awareness is still the formless, empty, free observer of 
being itself identified with a particular form. It is still and will always be absolutely, utterly, without a form of its own. Does that make sense when I say awareness does not have a form of its own? That means very literally that you will not be able to find awareness if you're trying to pinpoint it by saying, oh, it looks like this. It feels like that. That would mean it has a form of its own when it doesn't. And precisely because it doesn't, can it be the space for all forms? That which holds the space for all forms is awareness. And therefore awareness itself is absolutely formless. It has to be absolutely without a form of its own. In a sense, we could say that its only form is awareness itself, the quality of being aware. That is its only form. But it doesn't have a form of its own in any other way. It doesn't have a form of its own in terms of feelings or perceptions or appearances. It's not limited to any defined form. Very crucial to realize, very liberating most of all to realize, that awareness is always already here precisely because it doesn't have a form. Everything that comes into your experience has form. Awareness does not come into your experience. It already existed before anything came into your experience, you see. You can recognize that, especially when you relax your mind completely for two to five seconds. Although over the course of this course, you will start to see that that becomes less and less necessary. And you'll start to be able to more and more instantly recognize the clarity, the spaciousness, the freedom, the emptiness, the timelessness, and the other formlessness and the always already here-ness of effortless, free, true awareness. So the homework for this lesson is to sit down for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, at least two more times before you open the next lesson and to simply meditate upon how awareness is formless, to recognize that you cannot find awareness anywhere. You cannot really feel it anywhere because the feeling would simply be another appearance, appearing in the absolute, utter, subtle, ultimately beautiful, gracious, formlessness of awareness. Notice all appearances that come up during this meditation as being appearances appearing in the formlessness of, and due to the formlessness of, the awareness that's always already watching every experience. Become more profoundly convinced of the formlessness and the always already here-ness of that formless awareness. Rest effortlessly and enjoy resting effortlessly in this formlessness of I, I. absolutely formless. It doesn't have a form, so it's always here. It has to be because it doesn't have a form. The only thing that comes and goes is form. Enjoy.